What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at three nerve mobilization exercises for tingling or numbness in the fingers or hands. So if you have that going on, stay tuned for today's video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dr. Tom Walters and I'm an orthopedic physical therapist. So again, in today's video, we're gonna look at tingling and numbness in the fingers or the hand. There are three major nerves, we call them peripheral nerves, that travel, they start in the neck and then they form and they travel down our arm. So depending on where you have tingling or numbness or even pain, it will uh, tell you which nerve you wanna focus on. So first we've got the radial nerve, it goes down the top side of the forearm and the back side of the hand. So if you've got symptoms there, you wanna focus on the radial nerve. On the other side, on the palm side of the hand, we have the median nerve, which is the one that goes through our carpal tunnel. It then goes to the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, and this side of the ring finger. So if you have symptoms there, that's the median nerve. And then the last one is the ulnar nerve, which goes down this side of the forearm and goes to the pinky finger and the other half of the ring finger. So depending on where your symptoms are, that will help clue you in to which nerve you wanna focus on. We'll start with the ulnar nerve first. So first we're gonna start with the ulnar nerve mobilization. The other thing to know about the ulnar nerve is it runs right here on your elbow. It's what we think of when you hit your funny bone. So a lot of people who have numbness and tingling related to their ulnar nerve, sometimes it's from sleeping and they're sleeping with their elbow bent, maybe behind their head or behind their pillow. So if you have that going on, try to sleep with your elbow straight. That will help take stress off the ulnar nerve and will help it heal. To mobilize the ulnar nerve, we're going to put our arm up like this, we're going to bend our wrist into extension and have our fingers straight. This right away is gonna put tension on the ulnar nerve right here at that cubital tunnel at the elbow. So when I have tension on the nerve like this, I'm gonna move my head, I'm gonna side bend towards my hand. That will take some of the stress off the nerves up here in the neck while they're being stretched down there at the, um, at the elbow and wrist. So then I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna move my head away which is gonna stress the nerves here and then I'm gonna straighten my elbow and move my wrist into flexion down there. So that relaxes the nerves down there, but puts tension here. So I'm gonna go back and forth. So you just gotta practice this for a little bit. It takes a little while to kind of figure out the movement exactly, but basically when my wrist goes into extension and my elbow bends, my head goes towards my arm. And then when I straighten my elbow and flex my wrist, my head goes away. So I'm gonna go back and forth like that 10 to 15 times. You can do this every few hours throughout the day if you find it to be helpful. If you have nerve pain, you also have to be careful not to do these things too much. You have to kind of experiment with it and see what works for you. Sometimes when people have nerve symptoms that they do too many nerve mobilization exercises, their symptoms can flare up a little bit. So just figure out what works for you. And that is our first one, again, for the pinky finger and this side of the ring finger, that's the ulnar nerve. The next mobilization will be for the median nerve. So again, this is symptoms in the palm side here on the thumb, middle uh, index finger, middle finger, and this side of the ring finger. So for this one, we're gonna put our arm out. We're gonna start with our elbow extended, wrist in extension. And again, when my the nerve is on tension there, I'm gonna bend my head towards. So now the nerves are relaxed here. And then I'm gonna alternate. So when my head goes away, I'm gonna bend my elbow and my wrist. And then I'm gonna go back and forth like that again, around 10 to 15 times, just figure out what works best for you. You should feel sort of a reduction in nerve pain as you do these nerve, uh, these nerve mobilizations. It might not happen right away. It might be in the hour or two following the nerve mobilization. So again, just give it a try and use it as many times throughout the day as you to find it to be helpful. Okay, so this is the median nerve mobilization. All right, so our last mobilization is for the radial nerve. So now we're thinking about the back side of the hand. For this one, you're going to take your arm and spin it into internal rotation. So I'm gonna spin my shoulder into internal rotation and my arm's gonna go behind my back. So my shoulder's gonna go into extension and then I'm gonna flex my wrist. So I've got those three movements going together, internal rotation, extension, and flexion of the wrist. When my arm is like that, I'm gonna bend my head towards my arm to put the nerves on slack here again. And then what I'm gonna do is when my head goes away, I'm gonna bring my arm up into elbow flexion and shoulder flexion, and then I'm gonna go back and forth like that. So head away, arm down, and head towards, and then just back and forth like that to mobilize the radial nerve. You'll kind of feel, a lot of times with this one, people feel a little bit of a stretch here on the top side of the forearm. So you may feel a little bit of stretch through there. Sometimes the muscles will stretch. Sometimes it's just the tension on the radial nerve itself. 
So again, go back and forth 10 to 15 times and maybe think about doing this two to three times throughout the day. Thanks for checking out today's video. I hope you find these exercises to be helpful. If you need a more comprehensive program for nerve pain that travels from the neck down the arm, I'd encourage you to check out my book and my new app. In my book, in the neck chapter, you'll find this nerve pain program. It talks about disc herniations, disc bulges, and stenosis in the neck, as well as thoracic outlet syndrome. All of the programs in my book guide you through three phases of rehab and have pictures of me performing the exercises. They're much more comprehensive programs and more similar to what you'd get if you came to see me in the physical therapy clinic. So that's the book. My app has programs for the entire body as well, and I'm adding new ones each month. So if we look in the app, all of the different body regions are represented. Right here in the head and neck section, we have this cervical nerve pain program. If I click into this, you'll find videos of all the exercises where I'm performing the exercise and explaining how to perform it, how many sets and reps. Basically sort of like having me as your physical therapist in your pocket. It also has a community feature where you can talk with me and I do live office hours every Wednesday where you can come in and talk with me in a live session. So if you'd like to check out these resources, I'll put links down in the description. Thanks again for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.